Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. This is a uh, very good example of something we see fairly commonly. I'll scroll through it, give you a quick chance to look it over. This is a patient that came in with shortness of breath, and this is a pulmonary embolism protocol. Okay, so there's your brief overview. This is of the very thin slices that we obtained for pulmonary embolism protocol. There's actually 343 axial images. So, cutting to the chase, this is a good example of a positive PECT. This patient has pulmonary emboli. All right, and let's just go up to mediastinum here, superior mediastinum. This is the main pulmonary artery. And if we follow it back down, we'll see that it comes out of the right ventricle. Right atrium, right ventricle. Left atrium, left ventricle. So the right ventricle is pumping blood to the lungs, deoxygenated blood, so it will become oxygenated. And that goes out the main pulmonary artery, and then it sends a branch off to the right and to the left. So this is the left pulmonary artery, and this is the right. You can see that it bifurcates the main pulmonary artery, main pulmonary artery branches inferior to the aortic arch. Now, if you follow this right pulmonary artery here, you see this filling defect in the artery. In other words, there's something occupying a part of the volume of the artery, and that is preventing contrast from occupying that same volume. Therefore, you get a dark or low attenuation abnormality, and you see it here. And then if you look over on this side, there's the left main pulmonary artery, and you see that these things tend to lodge at branch points, which makes sense because they'll be able to go through the larger vessel, and then when it branches, it becomes smaller, and they will lodge some, some of them here, and some of them more distally in smaller branch points, like here, and well, that's not even a branch. Yeah, that's probably a branch point that it's extending into. Here's a nice example of a clot. And you'll see that virtually all of these have a worm type of configuration. And that's because they are casts of the veins in the legs. They were formed in the legs almost universally. And they dislodge and float up the IVC into the heart and into the pulmonary arteries. And if you look down here, you'll see once in a while you pick up little tiny ones in there too. But you have to be careful because sometimes you'll be looking at pulmonary veins. So here, for example, are pulmonary veins. You see how they're coming into the left atrium, to the left ventricle, and that's oxygenated blood. So you have to distinguish this, which is a pulmonary vein, from this right here, which is a pulmonary artery with a clot in it. Pulmonary artery with clot in it. Small pulmonary artery with a clot in it. Here's a clot in a pulmonary artery there in the left lower lobe. Okay. So just a good overview of some of these findings, and I want to emphasize that a good time to start getting familiar with the chambers of the heart, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. Look at the thick myocardium of the left ventricle, thick myocardium. And so if you know that the aorta comes out of the left ventricle, and we'll see that that's what this is. You see the left ventricle pumping up there into the aorta right here. Okay, and just for the sake of completeness, let's look at the coronal images. Here's the aorta and the main pulmonary artery. And we go backwards and we see there's the pulmonary artery branching to the right and left under the aortic arch. This, of course, is superior vena cava with the 
dense iodinated contrast coming into it, heading down to the heart. Now let's see if we can see any of those pulmonary emboli here. Well, here you can see very nicely how dramatic it can be. You have this clot. Remember, it's a cast of the vein, of a vein in the leg, and it has a worm-like configuration, and some portions of it are more clearly worm-like, but the others are just heaped up worm-like structures. And here you can see other filling defects here and here. Not in here, but you see it here. Here you can see something in this pulmonary arterial branch. And then we also use sagittal views. And you often have to window these appropriately in order to accentuate that contrast, but this window seems to be pretty good. All right, so now we're here off on the left side of the chest. You see a clot in the left lower lobe pulmonary artery. And it tends to go much more commonly in the lower lobe than the upper lobe on both sides. So here you have big filling defects. And you're close to the midline here, so this is the left main pulmonary artery. And you follow it out, and you see all these clots. Clots, clots, clots. And there should be a pulmonary vein. Maybe that's it. Yes, you see the pulmonary vein is heading over this way to go into, from the lungs to the left atrium, and then the left ventricle. Here's the aortic arch, okay, here's the aortic aorta, descending aorta, aortic arch, that's the last branch off, so that should be the left subclavian artery. You follow the arch all the way down to the ascending aorta, and into the 